In a Washington, D.C. classroom, job hunters are learning some new skills. It's a program run by Strive D.C., a nonprofit that helps people find jobs. Among the generally older crowd is 20-year-old Brian Johnson. When did you start the program here? I started last week, actually. He's looking to start a white-collar career, but hasn't had much luck so far. People with like a Fortune 500 company, they would, they would rather hire the 35-year-old than the 21-year-old. Young people face much higher unemployment than older people. According to the International Labor Organization, the global unemployment rate for people under 25 is 13 percent, more than double the overall global unemployment rate. Leon Samuels is executive director of Strive. He says since the 2008 economic downturn, young job seekers are facing more competition from older and more experienced applicants. The age range 18 to 24 uh, was affected because now you have a lot of uh, high-end uh, high college students taking entry-level positions uh, from low-wage low uh, workers. Strive DC's clients are often from disadvantaged backgrounds. The program helps with anything from wardrobe to transportation needs while giving younger clients tools to help compete with older, more polished job seekers by teaching what they call soft skills. By soft skills, I mean just learning how to smile, <laughs> learning how to shake hands, learning how to show up on time, learning how to just have a resume, an interview, uh, learning, learning how to be able to do the little things, but little things good first. It's not as easy as it sounds. Hi, I'm Brian Johnson. I'm here for my 10 o'clock appointment at, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Cornelius Higdon is an instructor at Strive DC. He says it starts with a handshake. I walk in, I keep eye contact, I have a smile on my face, I shake the person's hands and I say, good morning, my name is Cornelius Higdon, I'm here for the 10 o'clock appointment for the customer service position. I decide to give it a try. Hi, I'm Jim Spellman, I'm here for the 10 o'clock customer service appointment. Great handshake, you need to smile a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> I'll work on it. Okay, on it. okay. Many young job seekers may not even realize they're leaving an unprofessional impression with potential employers. With a little more work, Brian makes some progress. Good morning, I'm Brian Johnson. I'm here for your position, for your concierge position. The training won't replace experience, education, or technical skills, but Johnson says the program is giving him a boost. I believe I will be more so confident in my abilities and skills as an employee. You think that self-confidence is going to be key? Definitely. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.